Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be learning ratio. So let's get started. So guys, we are going to study today what is ratio. So first let's start with its definition. Ratio is an expression that compares two quantities of same kind. So ratio is what? Ratio is simply an expression and what does ratio do? Ratio compares two quantities of same kind. So ratio is an expression that is used or that is a way to compare any two quantity but the condition is that the two quantity that we are comparing should be of same kind. And by same kind I mean is that if, if I talk about a quantity say mass so both the quantity that I'm comparing should be of same kind if, if the quantities that I'm comparing in a ratio if one is mass then another one is also mass if one quantity is length then another quantity is also length if one quantity is time then another quantity is also time so this is what ratio is so ratio is what ratio is an expression that is a way to compare two quantities with same kind and how to do that how to actually uh, denote ratio so there is a symbol that is used to show how to represent ratio so this is a colon that we use and now you can see with an example 4 colon 5 so here 4 colon 5 is nothing but a ratio where you can see two numbers are being compared by putting a colon in between them and the number are written into their simplest form I mean 4 and 5 are written in their simplest form so this is how ratio is written. So let's see more few more points about ratio. So let's see. So first point about ratio is that the two quantities in a ratio should be of same kind. Yes, I previously discussed also the quantities or anything that we are going to compare in a ratio should be of same kind. That means the unit of the quantity should be same. I mean, if uh, one uh, quantity's unit is kg, then another quantity's unit is also kg. If one is of meter, then another is also of meter. If one is, is of minutes, and the another quantity is also of uh, minute. So that thing you have to, uh, you know, keep into your mind while solving anything or, you know, while comparing doing ratio questions and the second point that is I think very very important for you uh, so a ratio actually expresses a fraction so we are doing ratio we say that we are comparing two quantities but what does it actually do it expresses a fraction I said how to write ratio I said a colon B is the way to write ratio but what does that signify that signifies that a is to b or a colon b is equals to a divided by b and a divided by b is nothing but a fraction so if i write a ratio like a colon b or if you find something or some expression like this in which you can see a colon between the two numbers then it is nothing but a fraction so you can write this way with the number that comes left hand side of the colon will be the numerator and the number that comes right hand side of the colon will be the denominator so ratio is nothing but it is expressing a fraction and this is how we are going to solve ratios question okay so let's see how to find ratio so by now you must have again a uh, few insight about ratio that what is ratio all about so ratio is all about comparing two numbers comparing two quantities or any two things okay so now you know that we are comparing so we must require at least two quantities right so suppose you have any two quantities but the condition is they must be of same kind or the unit must be same so let's say a and b are any two quantities okay or we can generally take two numbers okay so there, there, there's two way to compare A and B either you can write ratio of A to B or ratio of B to A 
so there's no bigger difference between these two ways the difference is is in the way of how to write them fractionally so if i if i try to find ratio of a to b then a to b means a colon b where a colon b is nothing but a divided by b where a is the numerator and b is the denominator but if i write it reversely if i do it uh, opposite way that is ratio of b to a that means b colon a and b colon a is what b divided by a so that there's no bigger difference the difference is in that how to write it in a fractional form if if i say the number that is coming first like in the first ratio the a is coming first then b because we are finding a to b so here a will become numerator and b will become new denominator because we are finding or uh, we are comparing a to b okay but in the second ratio we are comparing b to a so b will become numerator and a will become denominator so this you have to keep in mind because why i am uh, emphasizing on this point is that when whenever question asks related to finding ratio they mention this thing that the two numbers or two quantities that you are going to compare how you are actually going to compare them i mean which number with respect to which number you are going to compare which number will be coming first and which number will be coming later means before colon and then after colon so they write this thing that compare this quantity to this quantity or this quantity with respect to this quantity so this thing will help you out that uh, which quantity will come uh, on numerator side numerator place and which will come on the denominator place so uh, i think by now you must have got or must have seen that how to find ratio so let's just do one question okay guys so the question to find the ratio is where here you have to to compare mass of two person okay so mass of person a is given as 60 kg and mass of person b is 80 kg okay so now the important part of this question is ki whether i have to compare person a to person b mass or whether i have to compare person b to person a mass but i have already mentioned here is what you have to do is you have to compare mass of person a to person b so you have to find the ratio of mass of person a to person b so that means mass of person a will be written on numerator side and mass of person b will be written on denominator side so write it away 60 divided by 80 but now that's not the final answer because i said the ratio will be written in its simplest form but here 60 divided by 80 can be simplified even more because 60 and 80 comes in the table of 20 20 is the highest common factor of 60 and 80 so after simplifying 60 divided by 80 uh, we get our simplest form of this fraction that is 3 upon 4 now 3 upon 4 can be simplified further because they have become co prime numbers right so now this is our final answer and now you know how to write ratio see 3 upon 4 is the answer but there is a way to write ratio if you can also write this way but colon is highly preferred and by colon everybody know that this is a ratio so how to write 3 colon 4 is our final answer and this is the ratio and this is how we compare mass of two person 3 is to 4 so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you understand this term ratio very well and for more such video stay tuned to me and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet so you don't miss on any of my new videos thank you so much